So here's the thing. In music, there are no guarantees. You could produce the greatest song in the world, but nobody hears it. Nobody downloads it. And then nobody books the artist. In order for anyone to have success, there needs to be a successful marketing strategy. Gospel music is still a growing industry, but more than likely a person won't buy a song from an artist that they've never heard of. Raising awareness and drawing attention to the work will help the success of the project. So I'm gonna give you three keys to marketing gospel music. Number one, utilize videos. With the emerge of social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, gospel music is more personal. Artists will use videos as a way of relating to the audience. This has been a powerful marketing tool. People are emotional creatures, and the video shows your target audience what you're feeling, which generates sales. Remember that video, Take Me to the King? Tamla Man was singing, you could actually see and feel what she was saying. Number two, a positive relationship with the church. A positive relationship with the church is key, especially since they are the majority of your customer base. The church is gonna be where you're most booked, where you're working all year. Remember Eddie Long, when he faced those accusations, he not only experienced a decline in church membership, but also record sales. Now, although the church can be very forgiving, a negative relationship with the church can kill a new artist before they even get started. And my last point, simple music. Now, if you've been following gospel music for any period of time, you've noticed that the style of music has shifted from choir music to CCM or contemporary Christian music. Take Me to the King was the number one song in gospel in 2013. And you can't help but to notice that it's actually a CCM song. The church serves actually like a radio station in some ways. Choir directors will not teach songs that their choir can't sing. You have to remember, our attention span is a lot shorter now. Now this trend may change, but for now, CCM is running the show. So remember, my three keys to marketing gospel music are utilize videos, number two, maintaining a positive relationship with the church, and number three, simple music. The gospel industry is a very picky industry. Utilizing my research will help you avoid a few stumbling blocks along the way. Look, if this video has helped you, hit the like, subscribe, and share button. But most definitely, leave me a comment. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.